Greetings everyone, Marvin Ford with Great American Survival. Today is a great day. Today we're bringing you a special review. We're going to tell you all about the new Engel 30 quart dry, cool, dry storage cooler with built in rod holders. Guys, this thing's been incredible. Stick with us, I'll tell you all about it. Alright guys, well as you see, I've really enjoyed this cooler since I got it for Father's Day. It's been a lot of fun, it's worked really good. I've only used it on my kayak one time so far. I didn't really take any pictures that day, I was just out trying it out just to see how it did. But I was also, um, in the past couple days, I've been putting testing the ice content. Because, just to be honest with you, when I first got it, I didn't think it was going to be a very good cooler. It seems all, it sounds really hollow when you first get a hold of it. It doesn't seem like it's very well constructed, but it looks great, and I was shocked. It really is. It really is well built, and it really is well constructed. Um, the hardware on it's okay. The metal hardware on the front, um, I was kind of shocked that it only has a little plastic hinge on the back uh, for something that's gonna hold, you know, can hold a full 20 pound bag of ice. I mean, it's really, an impressive little cooler but it's got a lot of capacity I'll show you some in, uh, measurements here in a few minutes when I talk to you more up close but it's it's been a great little cooler I mean it really is it works really really well and I've had ice in this for two days and there's still ice in it um, it's it's impressive um, I'm gonna get you up close and personal and I'm gonna tell you more about it all right guys well as you see this is the, how the, the cooler is set up. It is considered a lightweight, rugged, polypropylene cased 30 quart cooler. The exterior dimensions are 23.2 inches in length across here. And then it's 12 and a half by the, across and 14 and a half tall. You know, very cool. It's a very cool cooler. Uh, the internal dimensions are a little smaller. I'll show you that. Uh, the internal dimensions are 16 and a half across by nine and a half by 11 and a half. But the way it's cut out and the way it's squared off, it is incredible. Um, this right here, before I even get any further, this right here is two days. I put, um, I filled up this cooler with a bo uh, 20 pound bag of ice. And I only had a little bit left over. Pretty impressive that it holds as much as it does. But I only had two drinks in it. I only had two bottles of um, body armor in there just to give it something to, you know, something in there. And um, I was really impressed with this. I'll t show you a picture real quick of what it looked like when I first filled it up. And this, like I said, this has been almost two full days. All right, guys. Well, these first couple pictures are of the ice. The first when I put it in there almost two days ago. Um, I filled up, like I said, 20 pound bag of ice and it filled up the cooler delightfully. I mean, it's just full to the brim. You can't even see the drinks down in there. This was after one full day. This is what it did. And as you see, it's still looking really, really good. And then, you know, the way it looks now is here. All right. So as you see, that's how it looks now. Then this is after two days and that is the ice. The ice is still enough that it's actually still solid. I mean, it is still solid to keep the, this drink won't even sink down in it. It does over here where it's a little slushier, but it's still got enough ice that it's actually that solid. That's pretty freaking impressive. I mean, honestly, I'm being honest. When I first got this cooler, it, it didn't feel like it was really well built. It really just didn't feel solid. It felt hollow, like it was, you know, like it wasn't going to insulate very well. And I can honestly say I've been really impressed with this because I only wanted it so I could carry like live bait when I go fishing, whether it's down on the beach. And, you know, if I'm carrying my live bait and I want to keep it as a live well, or if I'm keeping my frozen bait that I use for fishing and I want to keep it cold, this is what I would put it in. Well, this right here worked incredible. Uh, like I said, two days 
here in Georgia, yesterday it was 95 degrees, so it got over 115 degrees in the back of my F-150. I have a camper top on the back of my dark gray F-150. It was over 115 degrees inside of it, inside the back of the truck. And it was like that. Yet today, it was only about 85 degrees, okay? So I don't know. It also wasn't very sunny today, so it's not as hot. So it's probably 90 degrees. But this, after two days, that's impressive. I mean, I really am just shocked. Um, it does have these cool, let me show you, it does have stainless steel latches on the front, very cool, works really, really well. In the back, there are these little plastic hinges right there, but I guess they're just screwed on so they're easy to replace. That wouldn't be an issue, bear with me, as I'll get you back around here, there we go, a little different. But uh, it's been really, really nice. I love the fact that it's the way it's set up. It's got a insulation uh, foam, foam rubber gasket, EVA, airtight uh, rubber gasket that goes around the inside of it, which is just really, really well built. I mean, it does come with a carry strap, so you can carry it on your, you know, down to the water, so you're not having to just carry it by the handle. I will say that if the cooler is full of ice and drinks, this thing can be quite heavy. It does have a shipping weight of 10 pounds dry. Just as it comes, it's shipped, as, it says it's 10 pounds. So I like the way everything's set up. I love the fact that the cool, the, I love the fact that the rod holders are removable. So if I mess them up or they get broken, or if I just happen to want to put up, take, set it up a little differently, I don't have, I can take them off, you know? I've got it a little swagged out with some cool stickers I had. Just stuck some on. The only thing I will say that shocked me is this, you see here, you see all this condensation around here? I was really shocked that there's that much, but it is really humid here in Georgia. And it just has a lot of condensation. But being the way it's polypropylene and the way it's the case is made, I can understand that. So like I said, the cooler itself has been nothing but impressive. I've really enjoyed using it. Um, today will be the first time I'm putting it on the water. I'm gonna put it on the water, try it out with my kayak, see how it does, and it's just, I'm looking forward to it. This was one, honestly, um, one of the best Father's Day presents I've gotten in a long time. It's really cool, it's something I will use all the time, and I mean, it's just awesome. Um, I'll put a link down below to the Ingle website where they have their um, this cooler listed. And um, I'll put an Amazon link so you can check it out if you're looking to find one and pick one up, you know, close. You know, and get one delivered to you before next weekend. So, I hope you guys will go check them out. They make some great products. I'm looking forward to trying out some more stuff that they have to offer. This one right here, hit a home run for me. My 70-year-old neighbor just cruised by. Just beating them. Alright, anyway, sorry. But guys, I hope you guys will go check them out. They make some great great products. Um, I was shocked, I'll be honest. Uh, like I said, I wasn't expecting it to have the quality that it does. We'll see if it holds up over time. But right now, it hit a home run. Guys, hope you guys have a great week. Remember, get out there, enjoy yourself, enjoy nature, be prepared, stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.